again everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a makeup video all about a full face of cream product. I adore a good cream product because I have dry skin and cream products settle so, work so nicely I feel like for dry skin. But oily girls don't be clicking off right now because I do have something for you as well because the products that I'm going to be using, the cream products, are more like cream to powder finishes so I feel like they sit right in the middle so that everyone can use them and collectively love them because sometimes if my skin's really dry I need a little extra hydration to make some of these work but um, they still they still look good so don't worry about it um, most of these products are drugstore products so give this video a big old thumbs up if you like some drugstore makeup um, and let me know in the comments below if you want to see like a full face drugstore makeup it, it doesn't have to be just cream products I could just do full face so and so I look or full face this so but all from the drugstore so let me know in the comments below and if you like these types of makeup tutorials remember to give this video a thumbs up click the red subscribe button for videos every single Tuesday and I'm going to hush now and get into doing my face. Um, as always, I have to pull these bangs back because I got to put makeup on my forehead. And this is the only way really to do it. So I found that this is, if you have bangs, pro tip, if you have bangs, I find that the clippy doing it like that and giving it the good old like um, early 2000s bump um really helps your bangs not to do like weird st stuff if i try to pull it back with a, a headband my bangs are like weirdly flat and w when i try to take them down and reshape them or if i try to pin them to the side they do weird things but if i just pull them back do a little poof so the roots aren't like squished down when i put my bangs back down they look good promise promise okay so let's get started um i'm gonna go in with a little primer you can use whatever primer you like but this is the becca first light primer um it's really good about giving a little bit of glow and that's what I always need in my life is glow. Um, some people like are die hard about putting a primer on with a brush. I got time for that. All right. Uh, the foundation of choice for today is the Flesh Makeup Stick. I'm using the shade 06 Vanilla. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit all over my face. Now this is definitely more full coverage so I don't want that much and um, it's definitely like a drier formula so I think it will look great for you oily girls um, and I'm, I'm gonna blend it out with um, a dampened beauty sponge this is a real techniques one um, it'll definitely work for you oily girls and dry girls alike because like I said I'm dry so I paired it with a hydrating primer um, but when you blend it out with a beauty sponge it's just lovely. I think it gives a very like um, natural skin look, but it can be built up to have a lot of coverage if that is your jam. It is 100% not my jam, but if you need full coverage or if you um, just like full coverage better, that will definitely build up. So I barely put any on and just am panning it on out. I've got some weird like red marks around my face this is a scar from popping a bump because I couldn't help myself um, and now I regret it as you always do but alas it is what it is so I'm just gonna put just a tad on the dark circle eye bags are out to play today so we're gonna address those in just a second so once that's blended out I'm gonna take of course you know it the Tarte CC um, under eye corrector and we gon' get those dark circles to go away. This is the creamiest, best stuff of life. I'm also actually gonna take a little bit on my lids because I have a lot of um, blue veininess going on the lids so i'm just going to kind of color correct that as well today sometimes the veins on the lids are worse than others yes if you're using like an eye primer that can really help it but the eyeshadow look i'm doing today is not very um strong so i'm gonna be covering up those blue blue veins right now mm -hmm. oh yeah so 
Next we're following up with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I've got the shade Light. As I said in my like a couple videos ago, they've reform not reformulated, but they've Oh my gosh, my nose is itching, sorry. Whew. They have expanded their shade range and they've like renamed them. So I believe this is like I don't know. I'll link, I'll, I'll put it on the screen, link it below the shade that I believe that this is, but this concealer in general, no matter what shade you are, I feel like they have your shade now, and I love this stuff. I love it so much. So I'm just going to put a little dab, dab, dab with that finger. You could use a, uh, I literally just threw my beauty sponge trying to pick it up. Hold on. All right, we back. All right, you could use the beauty sponge um, and like dab it, dab, dab it, dab it from your finger, dab it from your finger onto there like that, and it actually will make the stretch concealer more of a full coverage concealer. Um, if you find that it is too sheer for you, that is a way to make it a little more full coverage. I'm going to go around the nose where there's all those types of redness. I guess to try to cover up all those spots I've made. So today, on the day that I'm filming this, um, they don't have, Justin doesn't have school today, so he is sitting in the living room with Sawyer watching The Incredibles. So if you feel like you hear anything in the background, it's probably them. I try to tell these people to be quiet, but you know how that is with a almost two year old. All right, once everything that you want covered is covered, I am gonna set this. This will be like the only non-cream product, but I feel like you gotta like, set your under eyes. I like no matter what always set my under eyes because they need to be set. Um, I'm actually going to use the Real Techniques setting brush and the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in dim light. And I'm just going to swoop some on the eyes as well. I'm not going to set anything else on the face, just that. Okay. Going in with my favorite brow gel of life, the Maybelline Brow Drama in deep brown. I've ranted about this uh, brush situation, so I'm not going to say that anymore. Um, if you want to see what I'm talking about, watch my Valentine's Day day to night makeup look because this brush could be getting on my nerves, but I make it work because the product itself is so good. Completely missed that and like got some on my hands. Whatever. Okay, a brow's done. Um, uh, I'm actually going to do like cheekage next. Um, I've gotten some new products in from Elf, and I'm loving them. Um, spoiler alert: they are so good. It is Elf came out with like multi sticks, um, and I got two shades. I got Radiant Bronze, which I'm using as a bronzer, but because it's a multi stick, it could be used for eyeshadow, lip, yada yada yada. That could be an option for eyes today. We shall see. Um, so let's just go ahead and bop this on. So what I'm going to do is just draw a little on from the stick. I'm going to do each cheek. And I'm going to take this. Um, it's a foundation brush from Real Techniques, but I'm actually really loving it to blend this out. Usually I would blend out like a cream like this with your with my fingers, but I find that I specifically like this product um, with this brush for some reason. So I just put a little bit on and you see how nicely it blends out and you can keep that little bit of sharp look or you can tap that on out. But it gives such a nice like bronzy look. Um, now these are gonna be more of like a glowy product but I don't feel like they, like I don't really see maybe like the tiniest bit of shimmer in there but nothing too ridiculous. So if you're like afraid of shimmer, I would not back away from these. I think they are fantastic. And they're like four dollars a piece like you can't beat that because honestly I've not found that many um, things at the drugstore that cream products excuse me at the drugstore that are good um, so to have something that's an option from the drugstore for a cream product is super super de duper nice
Now, these are definitely a cream to powder finish as well, like that's what they say on the tin. So they're not, um, they're not going to be like super slippy. So if you're worried about a cream product just like feeling like it's sitting on the skin, these do not feel like that. So I feel like once again, these are gonna be great for all skin types. Like oily skin girls, you're gonna love this. I'm a dry skin girl and I love it. And as you can see, like you can build these up if it's not as intense as you would like. Just go back in and add some more. All right, bronzing done. I also, the other shade I got in this um, Elf Multi Elf Multi Stick is Sparkling Rose. Um, I really should be going with more of a peach with the color top I'm wearing right now, but. I'm gonna do what I want to do and I want to use this so I'm gonna actually just take a little bit of this on my finger and just go right over the apples of the cheeks this once again is a multi stick so it can be used on your eyes if you want a pink eyeshadow I've not tried it on my lips maybe I'll do that today because actually I realized I didn't bring a lipstick in here so looks like I am so easy peasy beautiful natural little flush little glow um, and then I'm gonna go in with the flesh highlighter in this shade startle you guys know I love this stuff um, it is so beautiful I'm just gonna apply that with my fingers as well along the tops of the cheeks and I kind of like to go a little crazy, like, like, let's just like pull it into the tops of like the brow bone area, like, let me glow, let me glow. All right, all right, now I'm going to pull it down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the tip of the nose, because that is a thing. And I really just don't mind glowing everywhere, so might as well. Uh oh, this hair. Okay. Put a little bit on the inner corner, even though we haven't done the eyes yet. It's fine, it's fine. All right, boom, highlighter done. So, like I said, we have a few options for eyeshadow. We could go with one of the multi sticks, or we could go um, with an oldie but a goodie. Haven't seen this one in a while, I bet. The Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in the shade Bad to the Bronze. This used to be. Like two years ago maybe more probably more I think this was the rage this was all the rage everyone was using this it's such a great 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 color and in fact for old times sake I'm gonna pull it out right now so I'm gonna see if I can get down in here with these fingernails actually and uh, all right it's all right it's okay it's okay and I'm just gonna dot that on the eye it's literally the easiest um, product to use in the whole world and it does last super well because they you know color tattoo you would hope with that name it would so you can once again build these up just like every other cream product as much as you want or you can go in um, go in light-handed see from there kind of deal I like just a gentle wash like in my whoa do you see that that was on the tip of my nail because I was trying to get down in that pot um so let's let's just get that off Okay, um, anyways, as I was saying, I don't prefer like a big old glam makeup look every day of my life. I really prefer fresh faced makeup. I just feel like it looks nicer. Yes, it requires a little more upkeep throughout the day, but um, it's just more me. I just like that more natural look. I love glowy skin. I just love, I don't know, I really like like real skin kind of thing like I know you would probably be thinking like why don't you just go without foundation and sometimes I do sometimes I just like conceal a little bit here and there um but I really like that no makeup makeup look and a true no makeup makeup look um anyways so as I'm jabbering on you can see I just blended this out with my finger if you want you could take like um kind of more like a, uh, a more densely packed brush like this but it's still like a a blending brush words they're not coming to me you could take that and you could just go back and forth to blend out those edges if you want um, or you could just use your finger okay done 
Whoa, where's the top? Done. Um, I'm liking it, I'm digging it. We're almost done, guys, almost done. We're gonna take the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara in Black is Black. Um, this is just the regular formula, not the waterproof. Waterproof, waterproof. Um, if you've seen me looking over here the whole time, I do have a mirror right here. I, like, I can't. I have, I have to get up in the mirror, and it's just my deal. And I'm sorry if sometimes I've leaned out of frame a little bit. It will have to be okay. And let me do my weird mascara faces. Oh no! Yep, leaned out of frame. And I always get it on my lid. Like it never fails. Because if you can't tell by just looking at me, I got the smallest eyes maybe in the world and I have pretty long lashes actually. And so when I put mascara on, it just like touches my lid because my eyes are sunk in a little bit. It's, it's a process. So I don't know if there's really truly ever been a time that I put mascara on that I didn't get it on my lid. So I did a little bit. I'm gonna wait for it to dry because if I try to go in now, I'm gonna smudge this down here and up here and it's just gonna look like I'm a clown. So I'm just gonna let that be. And we're gonna try something out for the very first time because I've never done this before. I'm gonna try this as a lipstick. Here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Well, hello there. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let me say that first off. But I will say when it is on the lips, I can tell it has more, it feels like it has more shimmer in it when it's on the lip, lips as opposed to the face. Like when it's on my face, even when I get up close and like move around, I don't feel like I can really see the shimmer. Maybe it's because it's more like concentrated on the lips because I'm putting way more on than I would maybe on the cheeks. But I feel like you can see the shimmer more, so that might annoy somebody. But it, it feels really nice on the lips, and the color's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. Let me know down below what you think. Okay, let's take these bangs down. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. My bangs are getting too long, actually. I really need a trim because they are all up in my business okay but as you see when I took them down there's not like weirdness happening so you're welcome you're welcome all right ten years later here we are <laughs> here is my final um, full face of cream product makeup look mostly from the drugstore minus like a couple of products but um, you can definitely recreate this from products from the drugstore like I was talking about those elf multi sticks are fabulous but remember if you enjoyed this makeup look to give me a thumbs up click that red subscribe button down below and always remember that you are loved you are valued and you are worthy bye